Hi everybody, it's Lace, and uh, this video is going to cover a couple things that seem unrelated, but uh, actually are. And uh, that's the backslash stuck command when you're stuck on a piece of terrain. Um, also, teleportation and uh, some side effects that may or may not be intended right now, but how you can use those to your advantage. And then also how to actually report a bug in the preferred manner to the forums for the devs so that they can uh, correct those things. To give a bit of history, um, I don't know, it's probably been three or four releases since, since we haven't had this ability. Before, you could go to anybody on your friends list or even just typing the name and you could do backslash zone to a player name. Those, of course, have been replaced with the teleport scrolls and the um, recall scrolls. Uh, I've kind of talked about those and stuff, but you can use a uh, town crier to bind to or you can bind to a lot and that's going to set your recall point uh, for those that may not have seen that video first or whatever. And uh, to bind to a lot, again, I'd go to this stone and I'd be able to bind to that lot if I had permissions to it. Uh, the town crier here is down on the docks. Again, right clicking him will open a dialogue to enable you to bind to that lot. And then that way you can use your recall scrolls. Um, additionally, there was this backslash stuck command. Um, that was if you were stuck, obviously, maybe on a terrain issue or something, um, or a door wouldn't open or, or whatever, um, you could use that and it would bring you back to um, the starter entrance of the zone where it could be a hack because if you're way out in the zone instead of having to run back, run past all the mobs, you'd be at the exit and you could just exit back out to the overland map. Um, so you can still use the stuck command, but you should only use it when it's a valid, uh, like terrain stuck issue um, because it is being logged separately from you reporting it and they will bust the people that are cheating that way. Uh, it may even go away and there may be a different command or something. And also, I don't think it takes you back to the zone anymore. I think it only moves you a few steps to try to unstick you. Um, so just keep that in mind. Don't cheat <laughs> and stuff. At the last... Uh, Hospitaler's meeting uh, this weekend, and some people might say hospitaler. I don't know. I like to say hospitaler. Sounds more like hospitality house to me, and that was uh, something at Bush Gardens where you got free beer. But anyway, <laughs> they don't have that anymore because Bush Gardens got bought out by that, I don't know, Netherlands company. We lost Anheuser-Busch, and we don't get the free beer. Uh, but another story for another day. Um, Anyway, the Hospitaller's meeting, they were talking about um, how, how the teleport and recall scrolls work interactively depending on how you're using them. And I thought it was something interesting because I hadn't uh, known about it. So let's say I zone to you in zone XYZ, right? And if I recall out of it, and you're, you're like in the middle of the zone, not at the starter area, just somewhere in the zone. And if I use a recall scroll to go back to wherever I've set my bind point, and then... I go and teleport to that zone again, may not be you, but to that zone, somebody in that zone, teleport a friend to somebody in that zone, I will end up where I last was, not at the starter point. I didn't know this. Um, I think that's probably because usually I'll, I'll go to overland map instead of recalling out right immediately. Um, but uh, that's just interesting. It kind of gives you, um, let's say your friend's house is in the middle. This is Diamond Fields, my, my, hap, you know, my little POT. Let's say your friend has a house here, and I don't know, the, the entrance is just down this way. But let's pretend that house is way back this way. There's an island back here, way, way to the north. Let's pretend your friend's house is way back there. So if you... Um, go out into the world, let's say, well, you're here, you're at your friend's house, and you recall to your house, which may be across the world, and then you go to zone back to your friend, you're going to end up back at his house. Um, so we all know the, the issues with weight and encumbrance and stuff, and having to move all these things, however many pounds we can carry uh, from various places in the world. This might be a little uh, a trick uh, to help you, know, move you, help you move goods and stuff with the help of a friend. Uh, who has a lot that you know, they're standing on and you're trying to move the goods to that. Might be good for decorators. Uh, you know, take a little coordination and work, and, and it may go away, but I think it's a nice secondary side effect um, in trying to do that. So I just kind of wanted to go over that and something new I learned this week and uh, pass it along. And next up, the thing that I wanted to talk about is using backslash bug. It's, it's literally just typing backslash bug. And when I hit enter, what that's going to do is it's going to copy to clipboard um, my location and, you know, all these little stats, my computer specs and things like that. 
and it's going to copy it to your clipboard. What that means is when I hit the control V key to paste, that data will go into it. It's kind of like floating around in the, the computer's memory. And uh, also when I hit this, it's going to open up the forms, the bug form specifically, you know, guide you to that direction and you'll need to log in and then you can pick the category of where this bug falls and then hit the control V and it'll paste the data in. You'll fill in the blanks and it gives the developers a nice formatted way to, um, you know, be able to copy and paste that into their, their tracking system uh, to actually address the bug issues. Um, so you, you want to do that. Sometimes I myself am guilty of not doing that and I will write the bug in English and it's just helpful if it's in a formatted way for them to copy and paste. It'll fit into their templates a little easier. So don't be like me. So we're going to hit backslash bug and just pretend that we're stuck here. You know, I can't move left or right. I'm just terrain stuck or whatever just to get it to my clipboard. And there you can see what it was copying. And sorry, I had to pause out because it was opening that window and I wasn't ready to record that. Uh, and, and then I'm going to bounce over and, and show you what it's going to open. I'm going to log in before that and show you how to paste it in. So this is where it took me to the bug forms. There would have been a login button up here and I just went ahead and logged in. Um, and I'd have to determine, you know, which category it best fits. Um, I was stuck. So that's probably going to be... Overland map, let's see, is it Overland map or player owned towns? It probably is a player owned town bug, but it might be better as a, a world building bug because it's a stuck thing. Probably put it in here. I'm going to click that. Um, you can also search, you know, sub, do sub search. Like if you were saying something couldn't be placed, you could do a sub search to make sure it hasn't already been reported or something. Or you can do the post new thread, um, give it a meaning feed meaningful title I'm like stuck in diamond fields and then I'm just gonna hit the control key and the V key and it's gonna paste in and I give it you know the title am I always stuck in this spot well I'd have to get unstuck and then run back and see if I can get stuck again to to, to say you know if it's always 100 percent is it a blocker no because I can move out of it the details steps to reproduce and and these are just the things that you're gonna want to fill out there and then you just save it and create the threat. Now I'm not going to do this because I'm not really stuck. But that's basically the correct way to report a bug. Again, don't be like me and just have come in here and uh, hit post new thread and go, I'm stuck. This game sucks, <laughs> you know, or something like that. <laughs> don't be rude. So that's going to conclude this video. Uh, take care, happy hunting, and be safe.